Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to crochet this mushroom keychain. It is functional, so the top slides right up and it can fit things like lighters, chopstick, crystals, money. Yeah, so it's just like a super cute accessory that you can hang from your backpack, your purse, your keys, etc. So let's get started. So for this project, you're going to need some weight for yarn in two different colors. I'm using this. I love this yarn in the color ivory. It is acrylic and I'm also going to be using this red. You will need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle or a darning needle. And then this is optional, but if you do want to add a key ring to the end of your keychain, you will need one of these little key rings right here. I'll link, uh, I'll link it down below, the one that I get from Amazon, as well as a little D ring right here, and then a pair of jewelry pliers. For this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the chapstick and lighter size version of this keychain. We do have the written pattern as well, which shows you how to make the longer, skinnier one, which fits things like dab pens, vape pens, lip gloss, etc. So I'm going to be starting with this color here. This is going to be the base of our mushroom. So to start, I'm going to make a magic circle. And then I'm going to place, I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to place six single crochets into the magic circle. So I have my six single crochets, and then I'm going to take this tail and pull it tight. Now I am going to place two single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 12 single crochets. So one, two in that first stitch, one, two in that second stitch, and just repeat that all the way around. Okay, so next I'm going to place one single crochet in each stitch around, so I will have 12 single crochets. And once you stop here, you're going to see that it's going to start to curve up. So I'm going to take my tapestry needle and weave in this end here. It's going to be a lot easier to do this now than later when we already have the full stem made. So I'm just going to go one way right here, pull that through, skip a stitch, and then just go back one more time to really secure that. And then you can trim this off right here. So you can just kind of get as close as possible and cut that off. Now you can see this is the base of the mushroom and we're going to keep working all the way up. So that was 12. So 140 minus 12 is 128. So we are gonna single crochet 128 more times. Okay, so I have single crocheted around 128 more times, so a total of 140 single crochets. I am going to sing, uh, slip stitch into the next stitch, pull that tight, and then I'm going to chain up 19. Okay, so we have 19 chains, and I'm just basically going to look at the opposite side of this right here and slip stitch into that stitch right there. So just make sure you don't twist the chain. I'm going to go right into here, slip stitch. So we've attached this to the other side of the stem, and then I'm going to cut my ends off. Pull this through right here and then pull that end tight. Now you can take your tapestry needle and weave in that end. And to weave in the ends, I like to do it on the inside so you don't see it. So I'm just going to go right in here, go down a couple, skip a stitch and go back up one more time. Then you can take your scissors and just snip 
that end off. So we have finished the base of the mushroom. See how it has the little um, like handle? This is gonna go through the mushroom top. So now you can grab your next color. I'm gonna be using red and we are going to start on the mushroom cap. So to start the mushroom cap, you are going to make a slip knot and chain seven. Then you're going to slip stitch in that first stitch that we made, the first chain, and pull that through. So now we have a circle. And at each stitch around, you're going to place two single crochets. So starting right here, I'm going to place a single crochet. And I actually like to uh, crochet this tail in as I go so I don't have to weave it in at the end. So I'm going to single crochet one single crochet two, and then keep going. So you should have 14 single crochets all the way around. And then beginning in that first stitch, we are going to single crochet two, single crochet one, single crochet two, single crochet one, all the way around. So we're just increasing. So we're gonna have 21 single crochets in total. So in this first stitch here, we are going to single crochet two, and then single crochet one in the next stitch, and repeat that. Nine, and see how I was just able to crochet that end in. So we're gonna keep going. So once you have 21 stitches, we are done increasing and now what we are going to do is single crochet around 84 times. So you're just going to keep going in the round um, and I'll meet you back here when I'm done with that. Okay, so I have single crocheted 84 and it's just upside down right now. So you can see that this is gonna be the top of the mushroom. So similar to what we did before with the base, I am going to slip stitch into the next stitch and then cut our yarn off. Gonna pull that through tightly and then I am just going to weave in this end right here. And you can do this however you like, but this is just how I like to do it. And then I like to do it on the inside, that way you can't really see the ends. and then you can cut your yarn off. So this is the mushroom top, but we are not done just yet because we want to make those little spores. So you're gonna grab the first um, color that you have, and I like to just, I don't know, maybe about 12 or 14 inches. I like to cut off, thread that through your tapestry needle, and beginning on the inside, we are going to place our needle i'm just gonna skip a couple stitches and go back through that first opening and then i just like to go over each stitch twice so i'm just gonna go through that one again and then going up onto another random spot i'm just gonna repeat this process all throughout i like to do one on the bottom one on the top kind of just mix it up a little bit All right, so once you've made your way all the way around, leaving your yarn on the inside, I'm just gonna flip this out, that way it's easier to tie off the ends. So see how I've kind of made my way pretty close to where I began? I'm just gonna thread this through a couple stitches just to get it a little bit closer. And then taking these two ends, I'm just gonna tie off a triple knot. So tying it once, making a double knot, and then a third knot just to be safe. And then you can just snip off this yarn as close to the knot as possible, and then flip her back right side out, and you have your mushroom top. So now to assemble, you are going to place the mushroom top right through that little chain and pull her tight. So now, 
she's technically done right here. You know, like you could be done right here and then use this to tie onto your bags. I personally like to add a key ring. So I'm going to do that, but this is optional. I'm actually going to be using two pairs of jewelry pliers and I'm just going to take this little key ring and open it up. Placing... Oh, sorry. This was the D-ring. This is the key ring. And I'm just going to place it right on here and close her up. And she is all done. So now you can just slide the top right up. You can put your chapstick in here, your lighters, crystals, money. This is the cutest little accessory for adding to your backpack. You know, hang it from your keys, your purse, really anywhere. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I do have a digital download PDF pattern for this. It includes the instructions for this size as well as the longer skinnier version. Me also have crochet kits on our website too. So we basically send you all of the, these materials as well as a copy of the physical pattern. Um, so you can find that on our website. I'll link everything below in the show notes. Make sure to like and subscribe for more crochet tutorials, tips, and videos. Thanks for watching.